Well, so do you ever get really frustrated when you have ADHD and you talk to somebody you haven't seen in a long time? And guess what? You were doing homework, but then two or three hours later go by and you didn't get anything done. This is just, it's, it's frustrating having ADHD sometimes. And if you can relate, I'm sure you can. So I'm gonna talk about what I do to be able to avoid this. So let's talk about that right after this intro. Welcome back my Optimal Mind performers and my Optimal Mind leaders. And if you are new here on this channel, we talk everything about mental health. So basically ADHD, anxiety and depression and basically all those types of strategies. We also talk about relationships with struggles with that as well as work performance, as well as personal development. And when it comes to academic strategies that a lot of HD people struggle with. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of the future videos and then give us a thumbs up if you like this video. So my name is Dr. Legrand. I grew up with ADHD and dyslexia. I have it. And we're going to be talking about the struggle, like I said at the very beginning, of when we actually run into somebody and we talk for several hours. Because people like us with HD, we love to talk becomes a challenge. And I got this from an actual meme. I don't know if you can actually see that, but this is a picture right here of a meme. I saw this and I totally could relate. It says on the back of his um, shirt, it says, please don't talk to me. I have no self-control and will talk to you for two hours and get no work done. <laughs> if you can relate, go ahead and comment and give us a like on that because it happens to me all the time. And I'm gonna share my strategy was I have done to be able to avoid this because we like to talk. We just are very talkative and we want to talk a lot about ourselves or about other people and just it, time gets wasted. And the very first thing that I had to do when I was in college, and sometimes, you know, these strategies, they might seem kind of mean, but in order for us to get things accomplished, we have to do this because we get distracted so easily, especially to talk to somebody who we haven't seen in a long time or, you know, we just want to be friendly and that becomes an issue. So if you're in college, this is what I would do in college. Or, you know, if you are always going out and about at work and you run into a lot of people, depending if you have a work environment where there's lots of people you can interact with, I would put headphones on. I'd be listening to music or listening to audiobook on tape, uh, you know, while I was studying my notes going in between classes. Because if I got stopped midway, I would talk for a long time. Sometimes I'd miss my class or miss a portion of my class and that wasn't good. And same with work. If, you know, I ran into somebody and talked too long, I could have been late for work, those things. And you guys might relate with that as well. And it becomes an issue. And so the only way I'd be able to kind of find to be able to avoid that is putting headphones in and really kind of just getting in my zone, getting right in my zone, staying focused. And I have friends always come and just like, hey, I saw you down the street and you look so serious. And I'm like, well, it's because I have to stay focused. Otherwise, if I get distracted, I miss out on a lot of things that day and it's just not a good situation. So that's what I've had to do and I've explained to my friends or people that run into me, that's just what I have to do. The second thing that I would also suggest, and this is what I'll do at my own work, is when you're looking at your work environment, is try to keep yourself in a separate room, completely separate so you can get work done. Because if I sit next to a bunch of other people, I'm gonna wanna start a conversation and you know, the day will go by without me getting any work done. So I have my own separate exam room that I actually work in and I don't work with any of the other doctors. At least I don't sit with them. I do, when I leave and I actually arrive, I do say hello and I talk and also when I leave. So I'm still sociable, but when it comes to actually working to try to get as much possibly done, I have to actually, you know, you have that space. I have to have that space. Otherwise, it just doesn't happen. Nothing gets done. So I have to do that. The third thing, and this is huge, is this device, guys, right here, is a huge distraction. And, you know, you'll get phone calls. You'll get text. You'll get things on Facebook, Instagram, whatever your big thing is. Is you got to turn off all those notifications. You just, that's what I did. I would just turn off all those notifications and you can actually set your phone where there's a certain time frame where it doesn't disturb you. And obviously for work, because patients are calling me, I obviously have those and those aren't distracting. But if it's anybody outside, if I do answer the phone, if it's a family friend or family member and it's just they just want to talk, I usually will call them after work because if I call them during I mean, we could talk about something that we can go on for hours for, or maybe it's something just even simple and small, but then I think about it for the rest of the day. 
and then guess what? Nothing gets done, guys. And that's the big struggle for us with ADHD is because when we're really passionate about something, we're really hyper-focused and we have a conversation about something that we're really interested in, we think about the rest of the day. We can't have those distractions. So we have to kind of use these types of techniques. This is what I've used. I'm curious what you guys have done as far as helping you try to avoid these situations. Please leave that in the comment section below because I'd like to learn some other strategies, but this is what I've used that's helped me and I hope you guys can actually implement it for yourself. And you know, like if you're new here, like I said, we talk everything about mental health on ADHD health you know, depression, anxiety, as well as personal development, uh, work performance, be able to teach you how to actually perform better at work and be able to also have, you know, perform better with the academics. So I talk about academic strategies on this channel and you can subscribe to the channel here. Also give us a big thumbs up as well as if you haven't downloaded our free guide on ADHD, that's in the description below. Until next time, this is Dr. Grant signing out. And remember, you have an optimal mind. Thanks. Bye.